What is going on everybody and welcome to part 4 of Sponge Plugin Programming. In today's part, we're going to be setting up the interface that will be used to make every single one of our skills as well as handle every single one of our skills. Let's go ahead, start with that, and, and actually before we do that, I want to go ahead, navigate to the build.gradle file here, and let's update our Sponge API version. And currently, this is up to 4.0.3. Go ahead and save that once you make that change. If it doesn't automatically build it as it is down here, just go ahead, go to this Gradle section and refresh by clicking that button right there. And if everything worked out correctly, we should now be able to see that the API version 4.0.3 has been loaded into the external libraries right there. And if that is the case, we can go ahead and get started here. Let's mark this directory as a sources root. And let's create ourselves a brand new package within our main package here. And we're just going to call this skills. Once we have that package created, let's go ahead, create a brand new Java class. And let's change this from a class to an interface here. And we're going to have this be called skill. This will be our skill interface that will handle, as I said before, all of the skills from the creation to the handling of the configs and all of that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. And we want to go and create three functions for our skill. We're going to have a string get skill name. And this will do exactly what that says. It'll just return a string, which will be whatever the name of the skill is. Then we want a string array. And we'll call this get exp values. And that'll go ahead and return an array of all the values with name and the exp value that goes along with whatever item that is. And lastly, a void function for setup config, which will take in one argument, which is a configuration node. And this will be the skills config node. Let's go ahead and import that, end that off. And that right there is all that we need for our basic skeleton, our bare bone skill interface. We may or may not add to this later on, but this is all that we need currently. This will get our config set up as well as the basic values such as the name and the experience values. So save that. And now that we have that, we can actually utilize this interface and create ourselves a skill. Let's do exactly that. Right click on our package here and create a brand new Java class. And this will be, let's do a mining skill. And since we want to utilize the skill interface, we want to implement. So implements the name of the interface, which is skill. And now it's going to complain at us telling us that we need to implement these methods. So we're going to do exactly that. I'm just going to copy and paste these over here. And import anything that needs to be imported. In this case, it is a configuration node that we import. So import that. Now, before we go and actually fill these functions out and complete them, I want to make an empty constructor here. So public mining skill, just like that. We're not going to do anything with this now, but later on down the road we may. So we're just going to put that there just so we remember for later. But keep that empty for now, and we can go and finish up these functions here. So let's start with the get skill name. And all we want to do in here is return the name of the skill. In this case, since it is the mining skill, we're going to have a return mining. And we want to also add public in front of all of these. They are all public methods. Go. Now the get exp values, I'm just going to hard code these values in. Later on down the road, we, we can and probably will grab them from a config file, but just for just for this video, we are going to hard code them in. So let's create a new array here called values. And we're going to just put two values in here. The first is going to be the, the coal ore. This is the name of the item itself. Followed by the exp value, which we'll just do 10. Then the second item, we will use iron ore. Followed by the exp value, and we'll just do 20. Now with that created, all we need to do is return values. And lastly, we want to set up the config by putting in the values into the skills config file. So we're going to create an array here. 
values equal and we're going to use our handy dandy get exp values function and then we're going to loop through these values so for int i equals zero i is less than the length of the values array so values dot length and then we want to increment it to by one now in here since we are passing in the skills config node i want to use that so skills config dot get node and the node that we want to get is the name of the skill and since we have this function up here the get skill name function we can use that so we want to get the mining node and we want to get the value of whatever the value of i is currently so it'll start with a zero and we want to get the first item in that location so in this case it'll loop through it once so i will be zero it'll grab coal ore and we want to set the value of coal ore to i one so this will go ahead look through it'll find the mining node if it doesn't exist it'll create it then within that mining node we want to look for values zero zero in the first iteration which will return coal ore and we want to set the value of coal ore to the current iteration and the second value which in this case will be 10. with that then we can actually now throw this into the config file so let's go into our skill manager file here and right at the top of this we want to create a variable for our mining skill so private mining skill and we'll call it mining skill and let's import that now in our constructor we want to initialize the mining skill and we're just going to initialize it to new mining skill and since it is currently empty it doesn't take in any arguments we can just do this and that'll allow us to access all of the public functions within it which will be all of these now that we have that variable initialized within our setup skill config we can go about setting the config up so right below the skill config we want to do mining skill dot setup config and we want to pass in the skills config so skills config and let's go and change the name the skills config here instead of skill config and right up at the top that makes a little bit more sense once that is all done we can go about building it so build build artifacts and build once it's done building we can go and start up our server here and if everything goes well within our config file we will see that or within our skills config file we'll be able to see the brand new mining skill node with the coal ore and iron ore with the exp values next to them and as you can see it did exactly that we have the name of the skill which is mining followed by inside of the brackets the value of the first item in that array that we had which is coal ore followed by the exp value then the second value in the array which was iron followed by the exp value for that so everything is working very well here thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you next time